Being GDPR and CCPA compliant was a big hassle in the past, but now with this free WordPress plugin, it's going to be super easy to set up. So let me show you how right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the plugin that I'm talking about, and it's called Compliance with a Z. Now, this is a free plugin that you can go to WordPress right now and install it. Now, all you have to do is go to WordPress site, go to plugins, add new, search for compliance, and it's this one right here. It's a free plugin. They do have an upgraded version if you need more features, but in my personal opinion, I think the free version is more than enough for most of us. Now, once you install it and activate it, you're going to find this new menu, which says compliance. And this is where you're going to get started. Now, before we get started, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They have affordable shared hosting plans that you can install your WordPress site right now. Jump over to the link in the description, go to hosting, web hosting, and this is where you're going to find the shared hosting plans. Now, they have really affordable plans, in, but in this case, I'm going to show you the business plan, which is $3.99 a month. What I want to show you is how to apply an extra discount coupon code in case you want to grab a shared hosting plan. Now, the first thing hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you are good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current price, but if you apply my coupon code, it's going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. So if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, use my coupon code. All right. So like I said, compliance is a free plugin that is super easy to set up. Now, once you set this up, it's also going to create an opt-out preferences page. All right. So this page was created and it has the opt-out preferences here where they can set up their name, their email and the information to send it out. You got your cookies, place cookies information. This was all created automatically just by a few settings that I had to set up in the beginning. Also the contact details. In this case, it just has demo data, but it's super easy to set up. Now to do so, you're going to get started with the continue wizard. In this case, I've already set it up, but it's going to get you started with the wizard. And the first thing is going to ask you is what do you want to be compliant with? So European Union, United States, Canada, etc. So let's just say that it's going to be GDPR. OK, so I'm going to select that one. And then do you target visitors from Germany, Austria, Belgium or Spain? And in this case, let's just say yes. Does your site have visitors with login access? So that means that if you have a membership plugin, a store or something that you have to register and log in, then yes. OK, if not, go ahead and select no. Let's save and continue. You got your cookie policy. Do you want to generate it with compliance automatically or do you have an existing page? So in this case, if you have an existing page over here or you create one manually, you can go ahead and select it from the pages available here. In this case, I don't have one, so I'm going to generate it, generate it with compliance, right? Privacy statement. I don't have the option to generate with compliance. In this case, it's an upgraded version. So I have to use an existing page or a URL from an external domain. But to do so, go to pages, add new one and create your privacy statement so you can tie it here. OK. The imprint, existing page, URL or none. Again, this is an upgraded one. Also disclaimer. So these three are on the, on the upgraded version. OK, let's go to save and continue our details. So the company name, the address, the country where I'm located, the email and the phone number. OK, go ahead and save and continue. Do you want to enable records of consent? No or yes. Do you want to enable data records forms? No. And again, these are on the upgraded version. Respect do not track global privacy controls. I would say yes, because you don't want to mess with but not be compliant with some of the countries. OK, let's go ahead and save and continue. It's going to scan for cookies that I'm using on my website. So based on the theme that I'm using, the plugins, etc., it's going to scan. And this time I found 91 cookies on my domain. That means that these cookies are going to be found and they're going to be tied to my opt out preferences. So I, it knows what cookies I'm using and what I'm going to need to add on that opt out preference page. OK, then I have the statistics. Am I using something like Google Analytics, Motomo? Clickly, et cetera, Jandex, whatever, select it here. And you will have to set that up if you select one of these. OK, so do know that. All right. But it's set yes, set yes if you are using one of these because you want to have that in the opt out preferences. OK, then the service. Do you want to use consent per, per service? Yes or no. Does your website use third party services? I mean, I guess 99 percent of us. Yes. So it's a yes. Select the type of third party services you use on your site. So here's a bunch of them. And you can show more for a longer list and select the ones that you are using. OK, do you want to block recapture before consent? Yes or no. Will you self host Google fonts? Um, let's say no. But you can say yes if you want. Does your website contain embed social media content? In this case, I say yes. Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. Does your website contain scripts, advertising purposes? No. Does your website WordPress comments? No. And we're going to continue. OK, and then it found two active plugins in this case. So these two plugins. And they also found six active services, which are these right here. These are found automatically. OK, and then it's going to use cookie database.org to 
find the services that it needs to add for the cookie policy. All right. So this is done automatically. It's done. Let's go to continue. And then the cookie policy. There's also a short code in case you want to use it somewhere else or create missing pages. Okay. Save and continue. Let's save and continue. And there's also the show consent banner. So in this case, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say yes to show you how it works and then enable cookie and script blocker. So finish. Here we go. So we finished the opt out preference page consent. So this was created automatically with those preferences that I've just set up, right? But now it's going to ask me if I want to use the banner, which I said yes. And then I'm going to get into the details for the banner. Now, I'll just go through this. Basically, it's basic information, colors, uh, theme, the buttons and what it says and all that good stuff, which is pretty much basic and straightforward. OK, so once that's done, save and continue. And you also have available CSS in case you really want to customize it to something really different that is possible. And it's not on the upgraded version, so it's in the free version. OK, and once that's, once that's done, you are good to go. You have got an opt out preference system. So let's go into my demo page. Here we go. Let's go incognito mode. And here it is. We got a banner, accept, deny and view preferences. So if I go to preferences, I got my functional right here, marketing details, right? And I'm good to go. This was created automatically alongside with the opt out preferences here, right? So it's super easy to use. Plus, it's a free plugin. So it's a super easy way to set up your GDPR and CCPA compliance with this plugin. So if you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap.